recording bills that have been paid by a personal card or by personal means is a very common um, occurrence with small business owners. So I'm going to show you how to manage that. So the first thing that's really important to make sure is that you have logged the bill um, or purchase invoice um, in Zero, and it's currently sitting there awaiting payment because there isn't a bank transaction to match it up to. So I'm just going to take this first um, bill here and use this as an example. So this £242 was actually paid for with a personal card. Now, what we're going to do is go into the bill. And at the bottom, there is something here that says make a payment. Now, what you're going to do is choose the date that it was paid. So let's say it was paid on the 15th of October. So the date of the actual payment. And we're going to click here on paid from. Now, what we tend to use is the director's loan account, which is 835. Now, as you can see, that doesn't pop up as an option to use. If you use the funds introduced and fund and drawings accounts, you could use these two. Um, but if you're using the director's loan account, if you click on accounting and chart of accounts, I'll open this in a new Oh, no, I won't open this in a new tab. Chart of accounts. So let's go to the chart of accounts. And we're going to scroll down through. So this is a list of all the categories that are in Xero that you use. If you scroll down to 835, director's loan account. Now we're just going to click on this one here. And there are some options down here at the bottom. What we're going to do is select the enable payments to this account and click save. You might already have this done. We enable it for a lot of our clients um, when they have personal expenses. So that might already be an option. So now if we go back to the bills to pay, I'm going to find this bill that I've paid with my personal means and put in the date that it was paid and you click paid from and now you can see the director's loan account has popped up. Now, what I always recommend as well is to say in the reference, paid, personal, whatever you want. And then it might be helpful, especially if you've got lots of different personal cards, to just put the last four digits of your card number in. So let's put one, two, three, four. So that if in future you have to go back and for whatever reason, verify how that's been paid, you know that it was paid for on that card and you can go and find it easily. And then you just click add payment and that will now show as a um, as a paid bill here. And what that will do is it will log it as £242 that is owing back to you at some other point. Um, because we've coded it to the director's loan account, you can use it to net off against some money that you've taken out of the business, or you can choose to repay yourself. If you choose to repay yourself that £242, you can just allocate the spend money transaction in zero. You can create a spend money transaction, um, the £242. So let's go here, reconcile 29 items. Hopefully the £242 is going to be here. It's not, but anyway. So you can create a spend money transaction. So in this situation, I'm going to say I've repaid myself and I'm going to choose 835. And then you can say in the Y, reimbursement for business expense, pay on personal card or something like that. And then you've got the full... Um, transactions all paid off. You've logged that the business expense has been paid by a personal card and you've repaid yourself and that's been all coded correctly. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, do get in touch.